Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you Seesaw by Suga. The ukulele is actually simple, but if we want to play and sing at the same time, it's going to be really challenging because the rap is so quick. I'm not a rapper, but then I tried to learn his rap and my tongue got all like blah, 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 because it's so quick. He is so cool. And I personally really love the song meaning because it describes a toxic relationship as a seesaw, so that's really smart. <laughs> These are the chords that we need to know to play the entire song. Feel free to skip ahead if you already know the fingering position. To play C major 7, take our middle finger and place it on the 2nd fret, 1st string. And then we go D, take our index, middle, and ring, place them all on the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string of the 2nd fret. Next is E minor, our index finger goes to the 2nd fret, 1st string. Our middle finger goes to the 3rd fret, 2nd string, and our ring finger on the 4th fret, 3rd string. Last chord is G. Our middle finger goes here, 2nd fret, 1st string. Index finger goes to 2nd fret, 3rd string. Our ring finger on the 3rd fret... What string is this? I forget. 2nd string. To sound like the original, we need to put a capo on fret 1. But I'm not going to use capo in this tutorial, okay? I haven't memorized the lyrics, so I'm sorry I'm gonna use my cheat codes and stick it here. To play the intro, we just need to strum onto each chord. And then we go to the first part of the first, right? We only strum once too, so... Now this part, we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to do it one and two. With the lyrics, Starting from this point, we're going to get a little bit different too, not much different. We need to play. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Oh, we're so 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 Alright. In the chorus, we're going to do down, chuck, up, up, chuck. If you don't want to chuck, we can just play it down. So just now In the 
In the second verse, we're going to repeat the same pattern that we've been playing in the chorus. <laughs> After the rap part, we're going to repeat this pattern One and two and three and four and that one, okay? So let's play with the lyrics to repeat the chorus, the post chorus, and the bridge one more time. That's the end of today's tutorial. I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be so thankful to you. And this is a hard song for me, but I'm hoping that this song is not going to be hard for you. Just keep on practicing. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.